After a month delay due to the coronavirus, Apple finally unveiled the iPhone 12 series phones during an online event. The handsets in this series include the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max, all of which are equipped with 5G internet, a ceramic screen protector, a MagSafe magnetic charger and an A14 processor. In this video, we will compare iPhone 12 phones to see what the differences and similarities are between them. Since Apple unveiled four phones this year, some users may be wondering what sets them apart. In general, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini, as their name implies, are cost-effective flagships that use two cameras. The Pro and Pro Max models should also be considered Apple's main and expensive flagships which in addition to an additional camera are also equipped with a LiDAR sensor. This was a difference that along with the size we can see by looking at the appearance of the phone. But if we want to compare the iPhone 12 phones more perishously and the differences and similarities between them, we must say that the new iPhones use a screens of 5.4, 6.5, 6.5 and 6.7 inches respectively. All four monitors have OLED panels, but the pixel density and resolution are different. Subscribe our YouTube channel to watch the rest of this video and more. The body of the two Pro models is made of glass and the frame around them is also made of stainless steel but Apple chose to use a combination of glass and aluminium for cheaper models. That is why we are witnessing a significant jump in weight from standard and mini models to pro models. In terms of design, there is no significant difference between the four models, except that on the back panel of the two pro models are three cameras plus a leader sensor, but the standards and mini models use two cameras. As the default operating system, as we expected, iOS 14 plays a role that came with a lot of features. Among the most important of these features are the ability to add a widget to the home screen and an app library, set a third-party application as the default application, and many other good features. All four models of this phone will receive all the updates for almost five years. In terms of the camera, all four models use 12 megapixel sensors that is similar to what we saw in the iPhone 11 series, but this time we are seeing improvements in features like a smart HDR, diffusion, the addition of night mode of all cameras, improved night vision photography and things like that. Therefore, it can be said that the quality of photography and video recording on iPhones has significantly improved compared to before. Obviously, we expect the iPhone 12 Pro Max camera to perform better. Because of use of leader, sensor has increased the autofocus speed in low light up to six times. Apple also claims that the main camera sensor of the iPhone 12 Pro Max is 47% larger than the previous generation and even the iPhone 12 Pro, and thanks to a wider aperture, it can perform 87% better in low-light environments. The telephoto lens also gives the iPhone 12 Pro up to 2 times optical zoom and the Pro Max up to 2.5 times optical zoom, but as you know, the sensor removed in the standard and mini models is the same as telephoto and therefore these two phones cannot have optical zoom. It should be noted that all four phones can record video in 4K resolution. On the hardware side, the only obscure point is the amount of RAM that was not mentioned. The reason for this is also not clear, because companies usually refer to the amount of RAM in the introduction of their products. If we want to resort to recent rumors, we must say that most likely, both the standard and mini models will be equipped with 4GB RAMs and the two Pro models will be equipped with 6GB RAMs, which further explains the reason for the price increase. All four phones are powered by a similarly powered A14 processor, which has six cores and Apple claims that it is 50% faster than the processor used in Android flagships, which is actually the Snapdragon 865. 
The battery capacity of these phones is also lower than before, but thanks to the very low power A14 processor, we do not see a significant drop in performance. In fact, it is better to say that nothing has changed at all. However, this must be proven after careful investigation. None of these four phones have a Touch ID or fingerprint sensor, and just like before, the phone unlocks with face recognition. Even the location of this sensor has not changed compared to before and is located on the screen in a notch. In the lower part of the new Apple representatives, a lightning port has been designed through which the user can charge the phone. Also, all of these phones can be charged with a magnetic MagSafe charger. Apple sells the iPhone 12 and 12 mini in black, green, blue and red, and the Pro models in silver, graphite, gold and blue. Two affordable models with a base price of $699 and $799 for 64GB of memory and two Pro models with a base price of $999 and $1099 for 128GB models are available.